Hi, I'm Ed from Catchmaster, and um, I'm the technical director over here. We get calls all the time about uh, regarding how do I remove glue from an unwanted surface? Uh, so how do I fix a glue board that was uh, incorrectly stuck somewhere? So I want to talk to you a little bit about that. Um, it's really, really easy. Basically, we have a couple, any oil is a, is, works as a good solvent. We recommend uh, vegetable oil, mineral oil, or, or even baby oil it works really, really well. Uh, a little bit goes a long way, right? So that's one thing I want to tell you. you know, quite often our kids will play with these glue boards and get stuck on our kids' hands or feet, or our pets will encounter them, or a glue board might flop over and get caught on the carpet or on a hardwood floor or something like that. I just want to show you real quick and easy how to clean that up. So here's one of our glue boards. This is a 72TC. This goes in our multicatch device. And these are very, very, very sticky surfaces, right? So let's, let's first start on hard surfaces. This box is going to act as our flooring surface, right? So you can see that's well established on there. I think for this, I'm going to try a little bit of mineral oil. So the idea is to put a very light coating around the outer edges of the glue of the adhesive surface. And one thing I'm going to say, if you're going to use this on like a carpet or on any kind of, any kind of material in your home, I would always do a little, with the oil, I would do a little corner test somewhere to make sure that the oil is not going to discolor what you're doing. Uh, WD-40 works really great on these things. You know, in this case, I might use vegetable oil if it was on a carpet so I can easily go back with soap and water and clean the oil residue off. So basically, I have some oil. I'm just going to take and work around the edges of that glue surface. And I'm going to let that soak in there. And as it does, the glue tends to solve off. Slowly but surely, I'm working that off. We could probably use another squirt of glue here, but a squirt of oil here, but it's doing the job. Doesn't take much. A little bit goes a long way with this. And then you go back with soap and water and you clean up your original surface. No harm, no foul. How about when it gets stuck on us? It's, it's really basically the same thing, right? So if we get a glue board stuck on ourselves, same thing happens, right? In this case, I have a little mineral oil in my hand. Let's try it. WD-40 works great here, a little bit of squirt of this, or a little bit of baby oil, any kind of oil. Just gently work it around and cover that, oil, cover that glue surface with oil, with a light coating, and you can see that completely, completely solves that oil. All right. so that's all there is to it. And then wash your hands with soap and water afterwards, wash that oil right off. Lastly, all right. So what happens when, when a pet comes in contact with a glue board? This happens sometimes uh, when, when glue boards are placed improperly and not used properly. Um, really, we should never, never allow pets and children access to an open adhesive surface like this, but it happens from time to time. Not a big deal at all. So here we have a fresh glue board and we have a pet, and our pet encountered the glue board. He sat down on it and now is very unhappy. So one of the first things that we like to tell people to do is, in this case, we have some paper towel or some shredded paper or some confetti, something like that from your paper shredder. Works really well. But just sprinkle that around the remaining glue surface. And the whole idea is to cover up and not let your animal or, or, or your child become any more ensnared in that adhesive surface than they have to. All right, so this way, this way we're preventing further entanglement in that glue surface, right? So now, no matter what happens, that pet can't roll around in there and, and become more ensnared in the glue. In this case, we're going to try, let's try some uh, baby oil, because this cute little guy is, like, is a puppy. And I just put a liberal amount on there, but I'm not drenching it. And what I'm doing is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work this in around his fur, around the bottom. Right? And slowly, slowly, slowly work that fur. And the more I work this oil onto the glue, the less sticky it is, right? Not sticky at all there now. The less 
cuts a little bit. And he's off. So that's all there is to it. Really, really easy. Don't use too much. Don't drown these guys in glue. Don't drown the animals. Don't drown your, your surfaces. Just a little bit of oil right around the edges. It'll be a solvent for that glue and everything's good, isn't it? Good luck out there. Remember, a little bit of oil goes a long way. If you have any more questions or problems, check us out at catchmasterpro.com.